today we will see the solution to problem 2.14 chapter 2 of uh, uh, Griffith uh, third edition uh, quantum mechanics concept and applications. Uh, this problem is related to harmonic oscillator. Uh, the problem 2.14 is in the ground state of a harmonic oscillator, uh, what is the probability that is correct to three significant digits of pointing the particle outside the classically allowed re re region? Hint is classically the energy of the oscillator is the E is equal to half uh, Ka squared, which is equal to 1 over uh, 2m omega squared A squared, where A is the amplitude. So the classically allowed region for the oscillator of energy E extends from minus square root of 2e over m omega squared to plus 2e m omega uh, over m omega squared. Uh, look in the math table under normal distribution or uh, error function for the numerical value or evaluate it uh, by computer. Uh, here we cannot uh, exactly solve using analytical method. You have to go for numerical method or uh, you, you have to use the computer. We will see why it, it is so. Uh, here you can notice one important thing. The total energy is equal to uh, the potential energy alone because at the cl uh, classical re uh, region, the kinetic energy goes to zero, only available energy is the uh, potential energy. So the energy, total energy is equal to just the potential energy. You know of m omega squared, a squared is uh, potential energy. With this introduction, we will go further. Uh, before going into the problem, please refer the problem uh, 2.11 and my lecture on analytical solution to harmonic oscillator. Uh, from the problem 2.11, we have seen that Z is equal to m omega over h cross times x and A is equal to uh, m omega over uh, pi h cross uh, one uh, power 1 over 4. Uh, so, uh, uh, the wave function can be written as sin naught is equal to a e power minus z squared over 2. Uh, a we know from here that is m omega over uh, pi h uh, cross uh, power 1 by 4 and this exponential term e e power minus z squared pi 2. Just now we have seen the wave function is equal to that is sin naught is equal to m omega over pi h, h cross power 1, 1 over 4 uh, e power minus uh, z, uh, z squared over 2. Now we have to find the probability. Probability is nothing but uh, modulus uh, square, integral of the modulus square of the sin naught with respect to x. So uh, now it is if you square it, 1 power uh, 4 uh, will become 1 over 2 and uh, we, uh, we are integrating between minus infinite to plus infinite e power minus z squared. When you square this, this will become just z squared. You are doing with respect to tx. Uh, now uh, we have to change this tx in terms of z. Uh, so uh, you can write this uh, like square root of m omega over pi uh, uh, h cross uh, integral between uh, 0 to infinite uh, sorry, x naught to infinite e power uh, minus uh, z squared tx uh, plus this uh, uh, square of the normalization constant integrated uh, and integration over minus infinite to uh, x uh, min, uh, minus infinite to uh, x naught uh, e power uh, z squared tx. Uh, so here what we are uh, doing is 
we are taking x naught as a classical limit. So we are integrating. First integral is between x naught to infinite. Uh, second integral is uh, from minus infinite to x naught. Uh, now, uh, as I said, we have to replace it, dx in terms of dz. Uh, so, for that, what we are going to do is z uh, by definition we have seen by definition is equal to square root of f omega over h cross x. Uh, if you take uh, differentiation, dz is equal to square root of m omega h cross dx. So that means dx, if you bring this square root term to the right hand side, you will get square root of h cross over m omega. That is, this will get inverse. We are uh, taking inverse of this term, so and bringing to the left hand side. Now you replace this uh, dx by this dz. Uh, then what will happen? Ah, uh, before that we will see. Uh, see here is uh, using symmetrical property. This is x naught to infinite my plus infinite. This is min minus infinite to x naught. X naught is the classical limit. Uh, so you can uh, because of the symmetry, you can ignore the second term. Uh, you can multiply the first term by two. So you will get. Uh, that is uh, that is sorry that is uh, p is equal to two times uh, square root of m omega pi uh, over pi h cross and this one h cross m omega uh, integral uh, x between x naught and infinite of course this exponential term will uh, become e power minus z square tz. So uh, now uh, what we are going to do is uh, if you multiply these two terms, m omega will get cancelled with this m omega, then h cross will get cancelled with h cross. So naturally we will get two times the square root of 1 over pi, uh, except pi all terms will get cancelled and the exponential term e power uh, minus z squared uh, tz. So here you remember here is a x naught. We are converting this z uh, z naught. So we are not, uh, we cannot do this like uh, straight away. We have to substitute the term. We will see what is that uh, substitute uh, substitution in uh, next uh, few minutes. Uh, so, we have seen the probability p is equal to 2 times one now, uh, square root of 1 over pi into that uh, integral uh, between z and z naught and uh, infinite e power minus z square uh, t, t, tz. So, uh, now uh, we have to replace this. We have to find the value of this one. Uh, how to find that value? You know uh, that uh, of H cross omega is the ground state energy of the harmonic oscillator. That is E naught. Uh, in the problem, it is given uh, in the in the classical limit. It is only the potential energy. That is uh, of uh, m omega square x naught square. Uh, here, what we are going to do is we are going to cancel this uh, omega. Uh, with this uh, omega square. Uh, so, and we will cancel this off and this off. So, naturally, the remaining term is uh, uh, you compare this left hand side, you have only h cross here, m omega x naught square. Then, uh, what is the uh, x naught square? Uh, x naught, uh, you take the uh, square root of this thing, that is. Uh, x naught, you bring uh, m omega in the left hand side, so you take the square root. x naught is equal to uh, h cross m omega. Uh, then uh, what is this epsilon naught? Uh, that is epsilon naught, sorry, z naught is equal to m omega uh, square root of m omega h cross uh, x naught, which is equal to uh, square root of m omega. Uh, 
uh, over h bar and we are replacing x naught by this value h plus m omega see this two term the term which i have shown in red color and terms in the violet color both are inverse this is m omega h cross this is h cross over m omega so if you multiply both you will get one so this z uh, not value is equal to one now this integral will change into uh, p is equal to two times uh, square root of one over uh, pi uh, between uh, integrating between the limit to one here i have changed one because z naught is equal to one one to infinite e power minus uh, z a squared uh, dz uh, here as i said uh, we cannot uh, solve this uh, analytically we have to cope our numerical method or as uh, given in the problem we have to refer the th table so this value of this uh, integral is equal to uh, of course with the multiplication factor it is equal to uh, pi 157 uh, thank you very much for watching my videos and supporting me continuously uh, thank you very much